like wrestling or grappling is the oldest sport known to man. As far back as you can go in recorded history, you're going to find evidence of wrestling competition. Jiu Jitsu started in 1925 in the first academy in Rio. And then up to 1965, was no tournaments, no collar belts, was just competing to beat, to submit somebody. You don't have to punch, you don't have to kick. It's a unique martial art that you have a control of the person without hurting the person. It's poetry in motion. To make another man subdue at your will, that is truly the king's art, the king's sport. The beauty of the art is to give you an evolutionary process in the physical, and the mental, and also in the spiritual level. Jiu-Jitsu is beautiful. The people that learn Jiu-Jitsu believe that they can do anything. In the public consciousness, submission grappling is just fairly new. And as of 1993 on, the martial arts world was enlightened to the effectiveness of Jiu-Jitsu. Sheikh Tahnoum was so in love with jiu-jitsu and fighting and he decided to have a team of fighters compete for Abu Dhabi. So he created the ADCC, the Abu Dhabi Combat Club. It's so legendary of how he came to the States, learned jiu-jitsu and then took it back to Abu Dhabi and just created this enter the dragon of tournaments. As a grappler, the most valuable reward you can have is to win the Abu Dhabi competition, the ADCC. We have judo, we have wrestling, we have sambo, we have jiu-jitsu, we have luta livre. Let's see which style is the best. Thousands and thousands of brothers all over the world unite by the same spirit, by the same principles that make them who they are. What makes a champion? Only one thing, sacrifice. They say the champion is not made in the gyms. Champions are made in from something inside their heart, a willing, a desire. You say yours is good, I say mine is good. There's only one way to find out.